Now, please join me in welcoming the Dean of the Klein College of Media and Communication, David Boardman. There's lots to be proud of, obviously, going on here on campus, but the true payoff for all of us is found in the amazing things that Klein College students do once they leave Temple. This year's class of Lou Klein alumni and the media award winners uh, illustrates that. They've led prominent corporations. They've covered important news stories around the globe. They've created groundbreaking innovations. And they've produced world-class events elsewhere and right here in Philadelphia. In a world where charges of fake news fly daily, where dark forces hide behind internet bots, where trust in people and in institutions is at a premium, these six, just like our celebrity honoree who's known for telling it like it is, these seven people demonstrate how much integrity matters more than ever. We're thrilled today to be welcoming home Marsha Cook, Jim Gallagher, David Mialetti, Tiffany Roberts, Fred Stein, and Will Yip. You are outstanding role models. You're outstanding role models for our students. We are enormously proud of your success, and we're grateful to you for bringing such a claim to your alma mater. Our next honoree comes from the business side of media, which can be as viciously competitive as the creative side. He is, however, proof that nice people actually finish first. We present Jim Gallagher. We met on the back of a school bus. That's kind of how everything started. We both liked the radio TV film. A part of it was in the initial experience with the, the new junior high school and doing the closed circuit television. We started with doing more of the technical stuff. We went to Temple, we decided that we wanted to get more in the business side of things. So that's how we kind of switched over from production at Temple University to there was a the thing called sales and, and business and marketing. His Temple experience was rich because Jim's mom and dad didn't have a whole lot. So he wasn't able to maybe travel to the Ivy League school or travel to California and, and attend Stanford, but he found his Stanford or he found his Ivy League position at Temple. His first job was at a radio station. It's the old Wibbage 100. It was in the 70s, and a guy named Alan Murphy agreed to hire him a year out of school, but with no experience. His next job was at USL, and then he went from there to Channel 10, and then from Channel 10 to Channel 3. I wanted to produce films, and I was sitting in Howard Rice's classroom Howard brought Jim to me through class by showing up as one of our guest speakers. I listened closely to what Jim had to say about his profession in television. I literally decided to explore the field of television sales. I did an internship at KYW-TV thanks to Jim. He was mentoring me. They had no sales interns at KYW. He, he found a way to make that possible. The early portion of our career together was at uh, WCAU-TV. Jim was a phenomenal individual, someone who had an awful lot of passion about the work that he did and integrity. Jim left to go to KYW-TV. A year later, I joined him. And I think we were known as the Jim and Jim Show. Some folks from Comcast Television came knocking on the door. The one thing that got my head up to pay attention to who this individual was when he spoke about the field of sales and how he actually never really wanted to be in sales because there's a lot of references to used car salesmen. I remember him saying, you're more like a doctor where you go in and you listen to patients and you listen to what they need and then you assess what's best for them. Three distinguishing characteristics surrounding Jim's career would be integrity, his intelligence, and his passion for getting things right. He's a fighter. He puts his heart and soul into things, and he won't let it go until he sees the right outcome. I got a chance to experience the Jim and Jim show. Those two are soul brothers, and I would watch how they would collaborate together. They'd even go on sales calls together, I moved on and, and I ran an, an agency in Philadelphia. As a matter of fact, I was a client of his. I received a phone call from him saying there was an opportunity to come over to Comcast. I truly don't believe I would be where I am today without Jim Gallagher. 
He's been my life partner before you could get married. We've been together for 40 something years. I'm really proud of Jim and what he's accomplished and, and how well he's respected by, by people that work for him, work with him, that he worked for. Please welcome Jim Gallagher. People, people make all the difference in one's life. People certainly did in mine. I was blessed with loving parents who adopted me and my sister Bonnie as babies. I had an amazing family of aunts and uncles and cousins and grandmothers who loved and nurtured me. At Upper Moreland High School, I had teachers who encouraged my participation in the media program and planted the seeds that led me to advertising. At Temple University, professors who came from the broadcast and advertising business made a profound impact on my life. Folks like John Roberts, Bob Bradley, and Bob McGrady. Frank Took, a Westinghouse TV executive, took photos of every student so he could memorize their names and stay in touch after graduation. He told us that when he managed KYW-TV, he used to stand out in front of the station and talk to people walking by. Understanding your audience was more important than managing from a fancy office. Howard Rice, a life-changing professor, became a life-changing friend. Years after graduating, Howard would invite me as a young account executive from WCAU-TV to speak to his class in advertising about sales. 30 years and 60 consecutive semesters later, I would give my last lecture as a retired VPGN of Comcast Spotlight. Alan Murphy, my first boss at WZZDAN, Wizard 100, led with honesty and integrity at a station with no ratings. He became an instant positive influence in my life. Colleagues I work with made such an impact on my life, too. Folks like Jim Brown, Tom Wise, Tempest City, Diane Florick, and so many more who earned my trust and respect with their hard work, creativity, and humor. John Iannuzzi, our first KWTV intern, a Howard Rice student, became an AE and eventually manager with me at Channel 3 and Comcast Spotlight. Many clients also influenced my life by showing up with such genuine professionalism and care. Folks like Bert Chapman, Strawbridge and Clothier, Joanne Harmelin, Harmelin Media, and many, many more. And of course, the best boss a guy could have for the last boss was Dave Kelly, also a Temple grad. He taught us mindful collaboration, which he lived by example every day. That brings us to today and this honor. As an intern with Luke Klein as my sponsoring professor, I worked at a Philadelphia TV station in my senior year. At PHL 17, I worked with Chris Lamoureux, a top-earning salesperson at a bottom-rated station. Chris was a family man who exemplified honesty, integrity, and hard work. Without Lou Klein and his love for pairing students up with industry greats like Chris, my first foot-in-the-door opportunity never would have happened. Of course, having a great life partner since junior high school, now my husband, John Ryan, also a Temple RTF grad, is a life blessing of unparalleled proportion. People make all the difference in one's life. My hope today is that we all recognize the power we have on each other to change lives. The person whom we offer the smallest kindness to, the person we influence or teach with a shared experience, the person we tell how much they matter or that we care, can be changed for the good, for the better. I was. Thank you, Temple University. Thank you, Luke Klein. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>